back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen in today's video we are going to forecast and trying to analyze the price of crude oil and see where exactly the prices are supposed to go and where we can see the correction or the way the main trend is heading to uh, we need to look at the price targets uh, and see what major resistance is coming I hope that you guys are enjoying the uh, bullish trend uh, of uh, basket currencies against US dollar so that includes euro, Canadian dollar, British pound, Japanese yen, New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, etc. So I hope that you guys are enjoying. So let's have a quick look on that before we can actually actually uh, head toward our analysis of crude oil. Uh, let's have a look in our forex section. And we'll just do a quick recap. Okay. So. I think this analysis that I, uh, the, as I indicated in my previous analysis that was forecasted on uh, Friday, that we were expecting a reversal and exactly we have seen. And I think this reversal is going to go much deeper uh, somewhere in this range. Um, so I'm expecting still a lot of bullish uh, behavior left in Euro against US dollar. And after that, I think we will start turning down. But first of all, we are looking for a deeper price movement. Within it, it can definitely push down further a little. But for now, we are seeing that this not like we are not considering it as an A, a B, and a C end over here and then fall. I'm expecting that this actually should continue going upward in that direction, and then we can use different tools to identify whether uh, when the correction is ending. British pound is not showing as much stronger price reaction, but is still indicating. I indicated in my previous analysis that I forecasted that since we have created a new uh, high beyond the, this high that's giving an indication that upward price movement is strong so I'm still bullish on on uh, British pound I'm expecting that a good pullback is to be expected in British pound and we are already seeing some signs of reversal that's good to know that the signs are there we can definitely draw a trend line to confirm that the prices has entered into the zone as you guys can see the prices have already crossed the horizontal uh, support right here so our uh, uh, analysis that this is an A and this hole is in a wave B and then this is going to be wave C is headed it's in the right direction. Canadian dollar, let's have a quick look at Canadian dollar. Um, I do understand a lot of people are not going to like my labeling of Elliott wave analysis. Uh, and the problem here is that n your opinion doesn't need to be matching mine as far as labeling is concerned. If we are, you can agree on this impulsive and corrective behavior, that's fine. And I was expecting this to be continuing that uh, wave A right over here. Right now, we can better look at its form as that we can call this hole as a wave A, and this hole as wave B, and this is expected to be wave C. So I think right now, the better labeling that we can see right now here is that we can actually call this price movement as wave A, and this whole price movement as wave B. Let me see if we can point right over here. And then we're expecting prices to fall down in this region. And we can say that this is wave C. That, that would make an expanded flat. A, B, and C. So we can delete the middle instruction right here. And I'm still um, uh, bullish on the Canadian dollar. Meaning Canadian dollar is going to fall. This is an upside down chart. Indicating that Canadian dollar is going to get stronger against US dollar. We are seeing. Let's have a look at Japanese Gen. Because Japanese Gen is not showing as much of a strength and I indicated that we have not created a new high in the correction right over here so we can definitely call it as an A, a B and I think we can call we can expect the prices to call, come back in this region we might see truncation in the pullback so I'm still expecting that A, B and C within Japanese Gen let's have a look at New Zealand dollar New Zealand dollar when fell um, and created a correction we can definitely say it went way beyond than we were expecting but the reversal has already started so with again with the with this one we can consider it as a right over here the wave a and red driver over here three wave pattern three wave pattern right over here and <coughs> five wave structure so three wave structure three wave structure five wave structure right over here and this is still valid i'm still still expecting that we will be able to able easily enter uh, pass the s resistance for the uh, New Zealand dollar and go in that regard. US dollar, dollar itself, let's have a quick look on US dollar. We can definitely see that <coughs> <coughs> we have clearly, in this structure, we can clearly see an A, a B, and a C. So we have an expanded flat 
within a larger expanded flat which is A so B itself is an expanded flat and we can see the reversal that strength in US dollar we can see the weakness clearly giving an indication since we have created a new low beyond here beyond this one A right over here giving us indication that when prices do come they are expected to go all the way down over here so we can expect the prices to go a little further down but at least I think it should fall somewhere in this region as well so I'm still bearish on US dollar itself I hope that you guys are enjoying the trade in in that uh, this was forecasted on Friday and I want to say a lot but believe me I just I'm hardly catching up uh, trying not to say negative words let's have a look at crude oil so crude oil is the next our thing we need to understand where crude oil is uh, heading and uh, the whole reason uh, I'm expecting uh, to clear uh, some of the things that are going in crude oil is because we are at a very important juncture and let's see what's happening so we have seen a lot of price movement I'll give you guys a chance to see to clear what if you can actually pick up what happening right now there are a couple of possibilities we can take it still uh, that this is a correction and an impulsive wave right over here ended right over here and we can say then a, a B let me clear this so we can actually make sense of some price movement we can we need to adjust that definitely we definitely definitely need to adjust that and since there are no other points right now so we'll forget about the channel right over here let's come back to the uh, to the chart itself so a couple of things are possible we can still consider it as an impulsive and the correction we thought it ended over here we can say that correction is still going on by considering it a three wave structure a three wave structure and a five wave structure okay and another alternate uh, labeling would be that the correction that we started from over here is not ended in that case this is a wave A this hole is wave B and this is wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 right now be, uh, be really aware of it because I'm not expecting a sharp increase in that regard right over here when that drop uh, happens over here we can definitely use a trend line to get a confirmation and whenever that confirmation happens that we are looking for a solid solid bearish break okay so I wanted to uh, update you guys whatever we need to look at prices expecting so if you are considering that this is the correction wave A right over here wave B right over here wave C then we are very very close to the completion of the correction and there is a possibility although less likely to happen that prices would go in this region and then turn back in that case we need to wait for here because there is more likelihood of this being an impulsive wave and the correction is still going on right over here and the reason I'm saying is so because we have seen an impulsive wave and a corrective much deeper in that area and then once again if we go right over here we can come back right over here we have entered into the territory of wave one so you guys know what understand me what does that mean that means that we are expecting a ending diagonal smaller wave one smaller two smaller three smaller four smaller five and all we know that as soon as ending diagonals are complete the reversals can be really sharp so let me have quickly label it in case some of you guys are missing it and then we'll see if I can do something with the so this is our start of pattern we can consider this as an A this as wave B and that would be wave C right over here we'll get a confirmation about it and let that will be wave 2 what degree is that let me have a look this is minute okay and then we need to see that this is ABC is also minute okay so if some of you guys missed it and we have seen a lot of noise coming down in crude oil I think that we are at the verge of uh, a beautiful drop in crude oil let's have a look at our daily time frame analysis so let me go that out of here beautiful okay we can still see that the price action is holding kind of in that regard right over here uh, is gone into in 
in that territory but still struggling a lot right over here in this region so we can definitely consider it as an A, a B and a C and I think it will be a better if you can actually consider this as wave 1 right over here and wave 4 ended right over here we can say that wave 4 ended right over here in that case we are expecting a stronger wave downward to complete wave 5 so this is our wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we can see that the 5 is going to be stronger because we have spent a lot of time in correction of 2 as well so this is wave 1 of 5, this is wave 2 of 5 and then we have to expect a sharper move that stronger move can happen either right over here or we can actually see a subdivisible form right over here that will be wave 3 of 3 a correction if the stronger move does not happen right over here we have to expect a stronger move I mean one sharp stringle stronger move it may last a couple of days or one day and that could happen in wave 5 that's what I'm looking right now but right now I'm expecting that we are to go down and as soon as you see, see a confirmation uh, that will be indication that we are going bearish let me turn this right over here this is our support for horizontal support right over here at 91.23 so as soon as you see an indication turn bearish and I'm expecting a good lengthy break downward something like similar right over here that we have seen right here so a good impulsive uh, bearish and a kind of pullback and other price movement downward so we have to see because we have seen wave 1 right over here correction a good pull down correction and another price movement downward let's see how it happens wish you good luck with your trading if you like the content please do press thumbs up um, and uh, if some of you guys are interested in WD GAN I was going through a square of 52 uh, there is a lot of left uh, there's a lot a lot left that I'm studying and it's, it's going in the direction I was able to successfully uh, start these studies and it started really good so I'm in a nice journey it's, it's, it means a lot initially it looks nothing but it means a lot this single chart so if some of you guys are actually studying WD GAN uh, you might want to look at square of 52 keep that in your head it might help you in the future wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye